your your name, please. And you will give, you give the floor. Yeah, we have a congress where different viewpoints may be uh, discussed. Now, from now to lunch, we have 15 minutes with a large number of presenters. But please forgive me, but in five minutes, the timer bell will be on. So please state your main thought. Do not think of reading your paper. It will be published at any rate. I don't call anyone to withdraw this the, the presentation, but just cut cut the time to three minutes. Well. The topic is where is our professor? If he is with us. Coming up to the issue, Professor Kim from Great Britain is he with us? Professor Kim. Then we can move forward. So the exam has started. protection of interests and the framework of our plans in both national legislation and uh, international legislation, international legislation. It's important to get uh, protection of the process of the protection of the environment unified legislation for this purpose is uh, very desirable, very important to have it and another crucial initiative is implementation of the unified values and the spiritual and moral values. society, but also the 
all the aspects of so the uh, public life, but every individual uh, realize how important the protection of the environment is. At the level of international legislation, we have to develop a unified mechanism of implementation of the protection, nature protection plans. Secondly, at the level of protection of the, of the international law, what is important is to understand that at the national level, at the company level, as well as at the level of every individual, it's very crucial to, uh, to realize, to understand how important the protection is. Thirdly, which in accordance with the unified mechanism of the requirement of protection would uh, lead to a certain activity that would call it uh, the necessary resources and to supply it with necessary resources and device to implement, successfully implement the strategies. Yeah. 
За то, чтобы заместить докладом, я постараюсь уже в три минуты очень коротко о глобальном северном гражданстве. Мы очень важно, что могли сделать глобализованный ответ на вызовы цивилизации. Этически я, к сожалению, нет, в качество звука не позволяет переводить. Что касается концепции глобальной цивилизации, нет, он не говорит микрофон, I'm sorry.
Национальные государства не имеют возможности регулировать поток информации. Это снижение роли национальных государств, их суверенитета. Technologies help us to uh, rule. Professor Rosali, academician of the National Engineering Academy. Why? I will only have five minutes. Yes, I wanted to thank the organizers of the conference, of the Congress. First of all, such world level forum has to give the results and end in something resultive, right? I would like to ask myself and my colleagues a question. As they say, where are we going? In what direction we are moving? Uh, in what direction the history of mankind is moving? And where we are well, driven to? Indeed, where if we think we don't know where we are moving, where we are going, and those who are leading us also don't know, uh, G8, G20 countries, they themselves are in somewhat in the close or they don't know where to move. European countries are at the zero level of GDP growth. And from all the countries that they were being pressurized, today's forum, for example, the first the first presentations were wonderful. But who were talking to? Who were addressing to ourselves? We are listening to each other. No, no, no. All the web is listening to us.
in two crises, financial and economic. And of course, the two other Бывает рецессия, бывает депрессия, и вот экологический кризис, он гораздо страшнее и того, и другого. Я бы хотела очертить ответ на вопрос, какой вклад марксизм внес в эту проблему, в экологическую проблему. Как нужно интерпретировать классическое, классический итог критического исторического материализма? В отчете прогресса у человечества на дороге к коммунизму. Он очень, так сказать, описательно говорит нам о том, как, как все происходило, нежели о том, является ли это норматив. А благо капитализма, это как глобаль, глобальные силы в нашей истории, Майкл предлагает следующее. Тем не менее... Должны ли марксисты поддерживать капиталистическое развитие как необходимого прелюдию к социализму? Я думаю, что ответ нет. Если в знаменитом открытом высшая фаза коммунистического общества это когда это высшая стадия развития всех индустриальных сил. Но моя интерпретация здесь, это поддержать Маркса, он сказал, это коммунистическое общество. Такое общество, написано на своих скрижалях, известную фразу от каждого по способностям, каждого по потребностям. Но здесь потребности контрастируют с желаниями. Если мне что-то нужно, то это для кого-то. Например, для чего? Например, мне нужна зубная щетка, чтобы чистить зубы. А желание, прихоти не имеют другой цели, кроме обладания. Я не хочу электрическую щетку, чтобы чистить зубы. Я хочу, потому что она электрическая. И, конечно, есть предел тому, что человеку нужно. И две, два последних замечания. Первое. Экологическому кризису можно предстоять различными формами политическими и Бог бы справиться с этим и некий фашизм фашизма. Единственное политическое э, устройство, которое мы э, не, не могло с этим справиться, это то, которое есть сейчас, это группа по интересам и либеральная демократия. Э, предлагаются такие э, решения, рыночные решения, э, проблем жизни, такие как э, торговля выбросами углерода. И только долгосрочное планирование может противостоять кризису. История социалистической мысли за последние 100-200 лет была все более объединяющей, начиная с Маркса. Подчеркивали исключение пролетариата из управления обществом. Зачем? Затем. Затем социалисты вели кампанию заключения женщин в политический процесс. Недавно мы, хот... мы хотели распространить концепцию прав на животных. И пришло время э, включить в права всей природы то, что Маркс рассматривает как неорганическую субстанцию, как равного участника в процессорическом процессе. Спасибо. Потом у нас будет прилет из Сингапура и приготовится господин Киеву из
subsidiary of the dealing with the conceptual things, we would like to propose to the Russian Federation to create a new international organization which would be involved in purely in economics and uh, both perspectives, uh, scientific research in this area, under the, in the, within the framework of Arctic Union, which could involve this such powerful uh, structure, China, Belarus, Serbia, and Russia. Uh, later on, it can be joined by Kazakhstan and other participants of the CIS step by step, because it is important, it, it is not possible to embrace the unembraceable. In order to put the northern sea route, we have to uh, create a new uh, infrastructure, ports, airports, uh, port offices, and uh, towns where scientists and other researchers and developers and maintenance will be done. So Northern Sea Route is very interesting for the countries of uh, Pacific Asian uh, region. It is the shortest uh, road between Atlantic and Pacific ocean, Oceans. Uh, strategy this has in the study during the study in the 1931. It was actively developed by Nazis, the Nazis in the said right. Uh, almost nobody knows that from 1940 to, to 40, 1945, the uh, German submarines used the North uh, uh, Sea Road to move the military roads to Japan. Currently, the objective of the, the Russian Federation is to become the locomotive, the new drive for consolidation of the international uh, international efforts in this respect, in this direction. During many years, this direction was um, forgotten, and now we are rising to, to this and um, to understand that Arctic is not the deposit of the carbohydrates, and uh, it's a Lomonosov shelf, which um, is now, the, now they want to excavate uh, the carbohydrates. The Americans provide us with the following figures, that in this part of the world, in this Arctic zone, it is concentrated that 70% of deposit of gas and 45-46 oil percent. But it is not most important. Arctic is rich in with other natural resources. All Mendeleev table is found there, the burial, nickel, wolfram, molybden, uh, lanternoids, everything is found in, in Arctic. The most important uh, task is to take it of the from the from below the um, the earth without uh, impacting bad 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 impact. I cannot uh, give a full talk about the Antarctic, but it is a key segment of the future strategy of the mankind. Now it is working uh, as, uh, in, in, as within the boundaries of the legal field. Uh, it is under the auspices of the this convention, Great Britain wanted to leave this to denominate, to terminate this um, agreement. I believe that Antarctic should remain uh, to be a non-limitary zone, non-limitary test, and it shouldn't be uh, anyhow uh, used in the military for military purposes. And finally, we don't want uh, to see Japanese buccaneers killing whales in, in the Arctic waters. Antarctic waters. Thank you very much. I could have said more. Thank you very much. I we technically prepared to listen to somebody talking from Singapore? If yes or if no. Professor Kale has the floor once again. Is he here? Is he with us? No, he isn't. Now we are listening uh, to a voice from Singapore. Yes, please, we want the sound.
Ya. Now, two o'clock, we start lunch sharp on time, and I believe that we, I also believe we can implement the Centennial plan much faster, there is no contradiction here. The lunch is at the uh, Great Hall, and nice looking young people will direct you there. Uh, after, the, after lunch, we're coming back at three o'clock sharp. For the next session, you have the agenda. As for the call by Professor Sabdan, these are three minutes of the previous speaker, Arova. So, uh, he asked why the representatives of the government are not here. I'll remind the story that happened to one of a great colleagues, Sergei Kapitza. Uh, more example with his father, Pyotr Kapitza, the Nobel Prize winner. He was uh, one mathematician was facing trouble, and at that time, Pyotr Kapitza wrote a letter to the chairman of the Council of People's Commissars, Mr. Molotov. In two days, the courier brought 
the letter unopened with Molotov's resolution to return to Professor Kapitza for the lack of need. Our talks are not dem in demand by the government, judicial, executive or legislative. No one has arrested this mathematician and after only a few decades later when Sergei Petrovich had found the letter by his father, ten copies which were considered by the Politburo at that time. So the Politburo has uh, decided not to do any harm to that mathematician because he but do not show Professor Kapitza that we have studied his letter so he should not boast with himself. So taking into account the intellectual potential that is present here at, at this, uh, in this audience, he, and I believe it's wonderful that the representatives of the government are not here. They have their own job, while the mission of the expert society and the participants of the movement is to think and to produce short texts which will be read and studied by all member UN member countries. These are different missions. And on behalf of the state, Sergei Lavrov and the representatives of other countries have stated more than clear. So there is no need, and what the fact that they are uh, listening secretly it is quite clear which ensure that we are doing a well-needed job, not in vain, in vain. See you at 3 o'clock.
给打赢咱仨。Thank mm-hmm. you.